Greetings, Negroes. Come on in here. We's going to have us a funeral. Y'all come on in here. Come on in here. I know y'all been waiting on me. I know y'all been waiting on me. I know it. Good morning. Good morning. Miss Piggy, what's good, baby? Good morning. Golly, I feel your frustration. I'm somewhat frustrated. Peace, peace, peace. Good morning. Y'all share this live. We gonna cook. We about to have us some church. I got him. It's been made. Um, it's been made known to me that Mano the tornado. He hit boxing bar in jail. He hit him while he was sitting down playing cards. And while this was going on, boxing bar was under the impression that they were friends, that they were cool, or something like that. And uh, he's only five three. This nigga, you know what that tell me about boxing bar? It tell me he's a hellraiser for a nigga Mano size to have to creep on him, and he's five three. You do that to niggas, that's gonna be a problem. Straight up. Yep, yep, yep. That tell me the bar's problems, and um, it also tells me. Well, everybody's telling me right now. He whooped Mano motherfucking ass after that. Mano crept up. Mano crept up on him. He crept him while he was sitting down playing cards from behind and from the side type shit. Yeah, yeah. Creep ass nigga. Sucker shit. Sucker shit. Right. And he got out of prison, and he sold us this monster killer image. He's five foot three. You hit him while he was sitting down at a card table. You know what that tell me? You know what that tell me? It tell me the bar's problems. It tell me that he was problems. Yeah. Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine. Knew it was something about this nigga I ain't like. I knew it. He brought he brought me he brought me to this. I tried to get some um to have a progressive, a productive. I tried to have a productive relationship with Jermaine. Yeah, I had, I tried to have a productive relationship with him. He's a clown. He one of them niggas that's over tough and it fucks up everything. And let me make this clear to everybody. I've been in the game sixteen years. Nobody likes this nigga. There's I'm sure there's people to disagree with. With, with things that I say, and there might be people that don't like me. You dig what I'm saying? But there's a quality about me that they probably do like, and that's what brings them back to my platform. Nobody likes this nigga. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I've been in the game 16 years. Nobody likes this nigga. Anybody that associate with him has an ulterior motive, just don't want to be at odds with him or they're afraid of him or something like that. Nobody fucks with this nigga. His music is terrible. Rumors was hot. Rumors was hot. Rumors was hot. You might got another one in there somewhere. Your batting average is terrible, fam. Your batting average is terrible. Um, the, the thing that you did with me was you fucked up with me by um, your subliminals when you went on Queen's Flip. You was over here and you told me I was the realest nigga doing it. And then and you said Queen's Flip was a clown. That's you. Basically, that's what you basically said. He said he jokes and shit like that. And then you went over there and started taking shots. I didn't immediately react because I had um, a higher calling. I had to service you guys with the murder unit classic. I had to service you guys with the murder unit classic. But um, I don't like this nigga, yo. I don't like this nigga. I don't like this nigga. 
at all, at all. I don't like this nigga. Yeah, they jump Bonky SA. Yeah, they jump Tragedy. When he bumped into Bonky SA in that art gallery, wherever the fuck that was in Brooklyn, it's on tape. He flashed his hammer on him because Bonky SA is probably like 6'2 and over 200 pounds, might be like 230 or something like that. You're going to have to tussle with this. You're going to have to tussle with this nigga. You dig? So he pulled his hammer on him. You didn't want to tussle with Bunky. Um, the nigga, the five foot three nigga, boxing bar and shit. You obviously didn't want to tussle with him. You snuck him. You creep, and you're a thief. You're a thief. You're a thief. You're a thief. You're a sneak thief. Here you are. That song was terrible. High Hater was a cliche song. That was a cliche song. That you can't nobody remember nothing that he said on the song, but high hater. You see me, high hater. T-shirts, bumper stickers, pins. It was a cliche song. That shit was bullshit. You can't remember one line from that shit. That shit was terrible. This nigga been terrible the whole time. He was on rumors was hot. And he might not have wrote that shit. You dig what I'm saying? His skill set tell me that he might not even wrote that shit. Stop playing, boy. Stop playing. You out here fake. And I know niggas like you. You just snuck up. You probably cut him when the police was nearby, too. We know that tactic, too. We know that tactic, too. You strike me as that type, scumbag. And yeah, your music trash. You ain't no fly, nigga. You ain't no fly, nigga, dirtbag. And we know you's a bum. You know why? Because you tried to rob your plug. That's some desperate, that's some desperate broke shit. You dig what I'm saying? That's some desperate broke shit. Yeah, yeah. Stop playing. Everybody not here fucking playing. It's some it's some fucking alpha males in this motherfucker, Jermaine. Stop fucking playing. Dig me? I ain't fucking young bird. You went you you wouldn't even approach me. You wouldn't even approach me. You always with a bunch of niggas because you soft. That's why you crept on that little five three nigga. I didn't even. And let's make this clear, everybody here. When your status is like that in jail, you don't have fights and shit like that. You don't have conflicts, night fights and shit like that. What you doing in jail putting in work? What you doing in jail putting in work? Nobody believes your ass. You was a regular Joe. Them big niggas, them boss niggas, niggas like us be in jail flossing and shit. Flossing. You know what it's like. What you doing in jail and scuffles and shit? What type of nigga is you? What type of nigga is you? Is a fucking creep. Your your reality is a reflection of your fucking personality. That's why you be off in the shit. Clown. Bozo ass nigga. Niggas be in jail flossing like a motherfucker. Hustling. Sending money home. Getting bitches hair done so they can come to the visitor room. Flop. You dig? That's the fuck we be doing. Don't nobody be in jail wrecking and shit like that. My name already established in the juvenile system. I ain't got to raise no razor in this motherfucker. I'm Jamil. Everybody know me. My nigga, you're not built like that. See, you will eventually come into a situation when you become exposed. I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. I'm pretty sure y'all done did thorough background checks and researches on me. And they going to tell you, nah, we don't like him. Or nothing like that. But everything that the nigga said, that shit for real. Everything come out of his mouth, that shit for real. Bout paper, family bout paper, been flossing the whole time, been an athlete, educated, all that shit. You ain't nothing, clown. You's a motherfucking glorified sneak thief. You had a relationship with a motherfucking plug, and you tied him up instead of going to a town and tying it down. Bum ass nigga. Now. 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 Get him the fuck out of here. And remember what I said to y'all. It's beef rules. Be fresher than your opponent. Have more paper than your opponent. I'll work your opponent. I'm fresh. I get money. And you see that murder unit shit. Zip him the fuck up. The fuck out of here. Nah, irrelevant ass nigga. Irrelevant ass nigga. Get your ass out of here. Now. And you ain't gonna do shit, bitch. Now. Now. I got my weight up. Nigga, I'm about to conflict. You not. You didn't want no parts of a 5-3 nigga. And all your peers talking about it. It used to be a secret. It ain't a secret no more. It ain't a secret no more. Now, Mano. Now, Jermaine. It's not a fucking secret no more. 
We know what happened with you in that 5-3, nigga. What you doing in a beef with a nigga 5-3? You always in a beef with a five-footer. Didn't your people have some problems with Rod Diggs, homeboy? We know that nigga was crazy. Didn't your people? You knew he was crazy, too. You knew he was crazy, too. You want the reputation of them niggas your age. You want the reputation of World and eBay and Rod Diggs. The niggas your age. You didn't do what they did, my nigga. You's a thief. You's a thief. You's a fucking thief. Motherfuckers don't even be wanting niggas like you around. Look at your conduct. You's a fucking thief. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Always, yeah, jumped on little ass little C's and thought that you was going to get, thought you was going to get some points off of that. He's from fucking Brooklyn. That's Biggie Small's man, cornball. Came out. This is how you got noticed. This is how you got noticed. Your bully tactics. That's how you got into this shit with your bully tactics. Nobody ever was interested in your music, fam. Nobody ever was interested in your music. You have a you have you have some real nigga background in there somewhere. You know the right people. You grew up around the right people. You was on an island. You cut a nigga when he wasn't looking. Stop playing, man. Stop playing with your flabby ass. You ain't built like that. Flabby ass. Put your fucking shirt on. Always taking your shirt off like you ripped or something. Like you ripped or something. Nigga not even in fucking shape. Not even in fucking shape. Pulled out a hammer on Bunky S.A. Do anybody, do Bunky S.A. look like he required to pull a fucking hammer? Do, do Bunky S.A. look like he requ Nigga, and let me tell you something else. If I have a conflict with a motherfucker in jail... We separated forever. The institution ain't going to never make the, they never going to make the mistake of putting us together. They not going to do that with me. You know what I'm saying? It's a lightweight ass. Share this live. Now, and I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. Groupie. You ain't never had no good music, nigga. You's a sucker. Run around here acting like King Kong. Your whole generation in jail. Why you out here? Everybody that you, all, all them, yeah, all, all, your whole generation in jail. Everybody that you was in the streets with, they in jail or just coming home. You've been out here amongst us, fraud and pretending to be them in their absence. Get the fuck out of here, bozo. And you ain't going to do nothing, my nigga. You ain't going to do nothing, my nigga. I put speed knots all over your fucking wig, nigga. You ain't, you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. That nigga took shots at me after I was trying to do right by the nigga. He's disrespectful. Motherfuck him. He think he can run around doing what the fuck he want. You ain't no motherfucking monster, nigga. You pretend to be one. Always picking on little niggas. Run up on me. You see me somewhere, my nigga. Straight up. Get your motherfucking board and pass punched out your motherfucking hand. Get your motherfucking board and pass ripped up. Get your ass beat up and your motherfucking boarding pass ripped the fuck up and embarrassed in front of everybody. Clown. Niggas hide behind that shit. Hide behind that shit. You've been out here, nigga. And don't ever forget, you're known for getting your face lit. That's what made everybody notice you. You was the first rapper out here with one of them buck 50s. We, didn't, we just heard about that shit. We never really seen what they look like. You dig what I'm saying? You the face of the buck 50s. The fuck out of here. Now, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. This nigga thought I wasn't going to tell him to eat a dick like the last 30 niggas. He thought he was going to get some different treatment. He thought he was going to get some different treatment. Like, the fuck out of here, nigga. I'm a man, and I'm better than you. I'm stronger than you. All that shit. You don't see me with no 30 niggas, and I be moving around, nigga. The fuck out of here. Always oh, acting like you some type of tornado or something. The fuck out of here. You're done here, bum. And I got more money than you. I got more money than you. What you selling? You ain't selling no music. Nobody's streaming that shit. You ain't got no merch. You ain't got, oh, you just opened a store. Let's hope you survive the first year that's required to sustain a business. Let's, let's hope you, let's hope you, let's hope you get past that first 12 months. You know what I'm saying? And the coronavirus just hit, my nigga. I hope you got them people's, I hope you got them people's fucking uh, rent. Because you don't own no motherfucking property. Clown. Clown. Now. Throw his ass in the motherfucking, 
throw his ass in the pile with the rest of the carcasses. Now, now, get him the fuck out of here. Now, bitch ass nigga. Now, like this video, tag into it, tag into it. He not built like, I know he not built like that. Who the fuck gets into it with five foot three, nigga? You can talk it out with him. The fuck is wrong with you? Snuck him. Don't get no reputation for sneaking up, cutting your friends. He has a problem with doing things to his friends. Look what he did to the connect. This might be trying to get some money with him. Tied him up. Cut bar sitting down at the car table. Weirdo. Get the fuck out of here. Now, 15 minutes. I feel better now. I feel better now. I feel better now. Kick dirt on his ass. Get him the fuck out of here, hater. And they gonna find that they gonna they there's some gray area with your fucking co-defendant Andre, I believe his name is. How did I find out his name? Somebody told me. Somebody told me it was niggas up in the mountains with you, my nigga, from all over New York State. Andre. Andre. That's the one that we want to know about. We want to know what happened with you and Andre. You know what I'm saying? And we find it odd that you've been a rapper for 20 years and we ain't never seen your co-defendants come through and say, yeah, man, that's the realest nigga. That's my man. We we ate that case and shit. You know how you seen Chaz Williams co-defendants? You know what I'm saying? You know how you see niggas co-defendants? You understand what I'm saying? Will you code these money? Will you code these money? You've been, you been in music 20 years. Hmm. Now, are you going to say this to his face? He's scared of a 5-3 nigga. I ain't no walk in the park, man. Do y'all think I would continue doing this shit, man, if I was sweet, man? I'm just being myself, man. This nigga ain't got no business fucking with me and shit. Man on known as a sneak scratcher with the razor. <sighs> Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications. Follow me on Instagram, The Real Gully TV. Snow Billy posted a, a, an emoji that says that he's a rat. A rat emoji. Rat something. It had Mano's face on it. I reposted it. I'm allowed to. It's my platform. I said I believe some of the shit that Box and Bar said. And I shared Snow Billy's picture. I said I believe it. Because Mano didn't show me any respect. So I don't have to show him any shit. Why do, we, why do everybody feel that this nigga is... Supposed to be given such reverence because he beat up a, a bunch of niggas five foot. He slapped on Young Bird, so he supposed to get. He supposed to get. What the fuck? What the fuck? The hand of God. All that crazy shit this nigga was talking. You with thirty niggas? You mean the hands? The hands and feet of God. Oh, Trinidad James, Trinidad James, Trinidad James, another one of uh, Mano's beefs, another one of another one of the niggas that Mano flared up on, Trinidad James, <laughs> bitch ass nigga, mm. Trinidad motherfucking James, that a bitch, ain't that a bitch, Trinidad James. This is who he flexing on. This is who he trying to sustain it because this is who he carrying his motherfucking image. This is it.
Oh, the white boy on MTV. I didn't like that. I remember seeing that. Like, is this for real? I can't remember that dude's name. I couldn't believe that shit. I said, is this for real? Like, why would they film this shit? And why would they show it on his show? Like, what the fuck is this? You remember, you remember what you did with the white boy, right? Tough guy. Yeah, you're a tornado. You're jumping on all the nerds and shit. Yeah. You're jumping on all the niggas that can't defend themselves. When he went at Trinidad, Kendrick was the one talking shit about New York, but but Mano went at Trinidad. Sounds about right. Whack 100 was around. Sounds about right. I don't have to be here. Uh, he said, stop talking. Man, I'll fight Mano anytime. And, and I hope that somebody's in, listening to this and interested. 50, give us a little bag. Give us a little hundred or something. I beat that nigga ass. Beat that flabby ass nigga the fuck up. Put all type, do all type of shit to him. Sweet. Sweet. Young Bird, Big Sean, Tw Trinidad James, Little C's. Your track record is decorated. We get you. You tough. We get it. We get it, fam. You tough. We get it. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to the channel, man. I don't need to be here much longer and shit. That nigga dead. He's dead. Hip hop, sports, and fashion and shit. Gully, you're going to be blackballed out the industry. Dude, I don't, it, it, you, I have talent. Nobody can blackball me from anywhere. As long as they got fucking MacBooks, nigga, I'm at, I'm at my highest. I'm at my highest caliber. As long as there's MacBooks around. Fuck is you talking? I can make something out of nothing. Didn't you just see me make a motion picture in 30 minutes? Did you see that murder unit shit? Did you see that shit? Did you hear the perverted shit Snow Billy said he was on around Black China? The nigga just sound like a creep. He just a creep, yo. He didn't want no smoke with world. Yeah, we know about that. He don't want no smoke with anybody that's about it, my nigga. I'm not going to be in your list of nerds that you didn't been fucking with, nigga. You, with, with, we can do whatever. Man, you can do whatever and shit, my nigga. Didn't talk spicy to 50 either. Nah, nah. I, I paid very close attention to that. He's calling 50, bruh. After 50, when 50 hopped on your ass on the internet about a month ago, you was calling him, bruh, you were standing a little too close to Jim Jones when 50 and Jim had something going on. You might have liked the post. You know 50 not with that shit. 50 immediately hopped on your head. He was calling him, bruh. Oh, no, bruh. Yeah. Turkey. Turkey. Snig out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Man, I'm talking about you. My name's Jamil Lindsay, my nigga. Gully TV. Man, you can do whatever, whenever. Straight up. Straight up. I don't believe you. I know your type. I know your type. I, I know your type. You're not built like that because you be in too many conflicts. Yeah. Jive turkey. Niggas a jive turkey. Now. And use a bum. And use a bum.
keep banking fucking videos in the back of that old ass bins and shit. Don't you know it's regular niggas in the streets that got them joints? What the fuck you keep sitting in the back seat for like you got a driver? Pump faking. Pump faking. Probably ain't even your fucking car. I got more money than this nigga. I got more money than this nigga, yo. This nigga need to, need to get somewhere and sit the fuck down. Got more money than this nigga. Nigga ain't selling shit. A lot of these niggas only exist on Instagram. Crash Instagram. Crash Instagram. Let's just destroy the whole Instagram app. Just crash it. What you got left? What you got left? You niggas got a blue check. I got a real one. <laughs> you niggas got a blue check. I got a real one. Remember that. Jive turkey. Yeah, that nigga's a jive turkey. Get the fuck out of here. Hip-hop, sports, and fashion. Hip-hop, sports, and fashion. That's what this Gully TV, sh the Gully TV shit was built on. Hip-hop, sports, and fashion. During the course of hip-hop, I gave birth. Media outlets like mine gave birth to niggas like Mano. Nobody wanted to touch him. Industry people were scared of niggas like him. He had to earn himself into them crowds and shit. They scared of niggas like him. Nobody would put him on a platform, but... Guys like us, the Gully TVs, the Cocaine Cities, Arliss Michaels, Real Talk, like, nobody want nothing to do with him. You look like trouble, motherfucker. The fuck? He all sadiddy now. He all sadiddy now. You sadiddy now. You sadiddy now. You think you done made it because you be hanging around Jim Jones and a few other niggas this, this established here. Jim had Jim brought Jim brought a whole legacy, a whole package to come with that. He got music. He brought he brought fashion influence. Stop trying to attach yourself to niggas. Stop trying to attach yourself to niggas. Stand down. Stand down. Trying to attach yourself to niggas. Fucking up niggas' songs. <laughs> Yeah, always oh, talking about real nigga shit was real. I hate them real niggas, man. Them niggas be broke as fuck, yo. They spend so much time and emphasis on being a real nigga. They don't figure out how to do general regular shit like social skills. Mano's probably retarded. I wouldn't be surprised if Mano couldn't read and shit like that. It's niggas that's around here to be passing himself off as normal to be illiterate. You think what I'm saying? Like, Mano strike me as one of them niggas. We need to check his IQ. Because you stuck on being tough, my nigga. You might have that, you know, you might be fixated on, you know. You... Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, the music is terrible. It's terrible. Between Mano, Tax, Tone, Uncle Murder, I always thought Murder was the only one comfortable in himself. He just acts regular and shit. This nigga the one that has to be tough. It's his image. It's tough. The nigga's Mr. T. He thinks he's Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now Young Berg is getting to the bag while Mano has launched a whack podcast. Mano, y'all think these these little podcast things thingies is gonna save y'all? Everybody not interested in what the fuck y'all doing, man. You got to do something new and innovative. That's how you know these niggas don't belong here. You got to contribute something groundbreaking. Monkey see, monkey do ass niggas. That's just not going to work, fam. It's not going to work. Not going to work. Jive turkey. He's a jive turkey.
Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm about to get up out of here. I'm about to roll up. Feeling good. Just put another, just put another trash nigga in his place with this vintage butter ass polo on. Put your ass in the motherfucker. Put him in a put him in a pile with the rest of the carcasses. Put him in a pile with the rest of the dead carcasses. You're dead now, monkey. Get him out of here. I'm about to get up out of here, yo. Yeah, zip his ass the fuck up. Broke, dirty ass nigga. Don't ever try to act like you civilized. You can never sit at the table with us. You one of them creep niggas. You like uh what's Henry Bolden and them niggas. You like you like Richard Timmons and Henry Bolden and them niggas. Them niggas that did that shit to AZ in the Bronx, killed all them people for nothing, didn't get no bread. That's the caliber of nigga Mano is and shit. Piece of shit. Like, you Henry Bolden ass nigga. He's a Henry Bolden ass nigga. Piece of shit. Niggas nothing. Nigga can't pump a pack. Nigga can't pump a pack. Nigga was next to a connect and tied him up. You supposed to tie a town down, my nigga. Yeah, bozo. Get your broke ass out of here. Thought, you, thought I was going to talk to you different than the last niggas. You ain't got no money either, clown. You ain't got no money either, clown. My passport still states the mumps and measles, the mumps and measles on every, every page. That's all you see. Different fucking, different fucking markings. You know what I'm saying? Sanskrit, Arabic. English, French, fuck out of here, nigga. Yeah, Henry Bold, ass nigga. Get that nigga the fuck out of here. You think he would act tough in front of Alpo? He wouldn't stand. He wouldn't go in this. He wouldn't go around Alpo. Period. You know why? Because he sneakily says little slick shit. He sneakily. He don't say it loud. He just said enough to make y'all and everybody watching feel that he's still a real nigga. He mumbles his Alpo shit. He mumbles it because he know that Alpo done pulled up on a few of these rappers. See, I can't tell y'all. I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. But, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I just happen to know. I can't talk about it. Confidentiality. That's what keeps me in a business. You can't spill people's business online and shit like that, but. You know. So he ain't do nothing, man. His ass is just dead now. Now you're finished. You're finished here. Y'all fuck with my website, the real www.therealdribble.com, where you can get all my merch and you can buy a little media there too. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram, the real gully TV. I got three Instagram pages, Gully TV World and Gully TV Media and Gully TV Sports. Follow all of them and shit. This is a dynasty. This is a dynasty. Mano. Hustle hard, Mano. You ain't no fucking hustler, nigga. You's a, you's a fucking jacker. Jack hard, Mano. Hustle hard, Mano. You're not no fucking hustler. Hustlers don't tie their fucking plugs up, clown. Hustle hard. Get the fuck out of here. You had a chance to hustle hard. All you had to do was cook it the fuck up and get, get to it, nigga. That's all you had to do. Cook it up and get to it. You don't have an aptitude. You don't have a finesse. You, you can't deal with customers. You fucking spot up. Get this goofy ass nigga away from the door. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Yeah. He said, all you doing is talking behind a nigga back. Nigga, I'm doing my job. I could have said this shit anywhere. I happen to do it here because I get paid for it. I'm up out of here. Peace. <laughs>